it's all rivalry. It's all Derby Day. So we have to raise it. Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here, and today we have the biggest game of the Sunday league season, UTR against SC Dons. This game goes way back to four or five years ago, so let's take you down memory lane. <laughs> Score predictions. 2-0. Utah ain't scoring. 3-0. Three 3-0. Nil. Three nil. Big team, clean sheet. Alright, it's gotta be 3-1 Duns. Yeah. 100 2 one Duns. Yeah, 3-1 yeah. yeah. Duns. Yeah. One over. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna be horrible and say 3-1 UTR. UTR? Yeah, Why? I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause just because I watched UTR. 4-1 Duns. 5-1 Duns. 3-1 UTR. UTR? Oh, wow. I guess it goes without saying, we've always battled uh, hard against SE Dons. It's always been a tight affair, but still always fallen short. And today we'll be looking to correct that in the SFL London League game up against the Dons. Last week's man of the match is John, which was unanimously voted for by you guys. You made it very clear that John was a clear man of the match and he saved us big time. And we got a 4-3 victory that was massive for us and earned us a final. So John is last week's man of the match. The team is like this. In goal, we're going to have last week's MOTM, John. Right back, Brad. Ben at centre back. Harry joins him. Left back, Tolu. Mikes. Eze. And Vance in midfield. Sam out on the right. On the left is Eri. And striker, Thomas. Leaving us with a bench of Adem, Benny, Femi, Lanray, and Marcel. We put our lives into this club in different ways, yeah? Boys. They lose this, they go back to being UTR. They can afford to lose. We lose this our season. What we do is ignore that, 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 that noise, the outside noise. We play our game every second of today's game. We start as strong as we started on Sunday. So we have to raise it. We have to raise it. Every single one of you have to appreciate what sort of game this is. So whether you're starting or whether you're not, I need energy, no laziness. No laziness. Boys, today is just all about who's going to want it more. There's going to be quality on both sides and quality can make the difference some days, but so can hard work. We know how they talk when they win. If that isn't an incentive enough for you to want to go out there and do your best, give it your all, I don't know what it is. At the end of the day, it's one of those games where we can't do that stuff that we do. We start bickering, arguing. I'm saying that at Eze and Mike's. It's for the last game. I don't know what you're arguing about. We can't have that this game. We need everyone to be on the same page and everyone to get around each other. We get one goal, we get two, like Femi said, three, four. We do it, we kill them. We'll make so much noise on the sideline, we know when we score that dies down. So let's go and go for the throat straight away. I'll keep it simple, listen. We all, some of us work today, we've all come from our homes, we've come from work, whatever. The joy on our faces when we saw each other because we get to play football with our actual brothers, with our family. But I'm telling you now, we can be brothers, we can be family, but to me it means nothing if we don't win. What's the point of being together if we lose? We've said this too many times, uh, maybe next time. Today's next time. Today's today. Imagine we can't play football again tomorrow. What are you going to do? What are you going to do that's going to make you better than your position? At the end of the day, it's your will against the, uh, their will. What's going to break first? One, two, three! Yeah. One, two, three! Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Like I said, plenty of anticipation for this fixture and I'd just like to take a moment to say a massive thank you to Ed Fleet United for letting us use this beautiful pitch and location uh, for such a big occasion. Big games, big players, big stadiums too. Uh, big up Ebb Sweet United each and every time. So, UTR are going to be in the red and black. Uh, Don's in this green strip. And uh, we are almost nearing kickoff. Skippers are at the halfway line with the officials. Normally, uh, Tolu and Big G have a massive stare down. They haven't spent too long this time, so let me fill in the gaps. <laughs> That's all out the way. Uh, UTR are going to kick off here with Eze and uh, we're underway. Uh, UTR have a point to prove here. You guys know that already. The Dons will know that and they won't take this game lightly at all. RJ for the Dons, bringing the ball out of defense, tries to play a left foot pass. It's intercepted by Eri. Can he find a UTR shirt? Sees Eze inside, sees a run from Thomas, ignores it on this occasion. Eri's gone to the ground as well. Uh, Eze looking to keep possession for us. After seeing that first bit, Eri's only gonna have one thing in his mind when he sees RJ. I wanna see him 1v1, that's it, simple. 
Don's have it midway through their half. Orange Boots clips it down the line, looking for this guy on the right. Lively player, lots of energy. That totally wins the throw. They've just switched the play. Brilliant touch from Kitman. Looks to go inside as well. Gets away from Mike's, but only for a moment. He's made a challenge and been a stiff challenge there as Mike sweeps it up the pitch. Nathan Palmer playing in a deeper role for the Dons. Looks for another long one. It's headed down by this man. Comes out to, I think that's Calvin. Uh, looking to take it maybe inside on his right foot. Sets a pass back inside. Kitman, can he get delivery into the box? He does so. It's a header there. And it's uh, not that far from the goal. Just a bit too high. Bouncing free, we've got uh, too many Don shirts free. Speaking of free, as uh, Ben puts in a late challenge there on the big man. Uh, it's Nathan Palmer bringing the ball forward for Don's. Looks to slip one in behind. John is quick off his line. Bradley Shields and UTR retrieve possession. The ball's coming back to the halfway line, straight off the box. Sorry, um, Ben's head as uh, it goes to Mike's. He takes it on the side, tries to play a ball through for Sam Bailey. Cut out by RJ. Harry Sargent, the sergeant at the back. Uh, looks to play a pass out here to Mike's. Mike's takes a touch. He's uh, quickly under pressure from the 24. Like I said, plenty of energy from him. Tries to slip a pass through. It's cut out by the Dons. It's offside anyway. Sam gets the ball from Vance in the middle. Uh, looking to maybe cut inside. He's cut out by the Dons. Nathan Palmer finishing the job. And maybe they might have an opportunity to break down this left-hand side with the kit man steaming forward. Bradley tracking back. Uh, ben away in his presence just inside the box. He looks to cut one in the box. It's there from the 30 off the crossbar. And it's an early warning shot for UTR. Can they keep it alive, Dons? Uh, Tolu there looking to shield it up against the big 30. And uh, it looks like maybe the chance has gone. Tolu puts in a challenge. they will go out for a corner. Nathan Palmer with that corner for the Dons. Support one to the front post, dealt with by Mike. Comes out to the 47 and he clears the fleet. Straight out the ground. We've got a throw. They know we've got the long throws. And Tolu's going to try and utilise that. RJ wins the first ball. Drops to Mike. And he cannons this shot for Thomas's boot. Out for a goal kick. Dons fire a pass across the pitch. It's a loose one. Comes to Eri. Loves Beyonce. So he decides to take it to the... As he gets away from Mali. Ben with it. In the right back position. Deep inside our half. Looks long for Thomas. Takes it on his chest. Cushions it and uh, looks to hold it up for us. Has he got any options? He's got Sam with him. Uh, Sam sets the ball out his feet, looks to deliver one into the box. RJ yet again, equal to it. Mali in possession for the Dons. Uh, tries to play a pass down the line to the 24, successful. He's got Eri to beat, tries to cut inside. He's cut out by Mike's there. I think Mike's has also caught Eri. It's a bit of a head injury, a clash between the two. But um, hopefully they'll be okay to continue. I think they should be. Vance looking to settle things for UTR. Plays a left footed pass into Eze. He loves Snickers. There's some nuts. This is okay, we're okay, guys. <laughs> Mike standing over the free kick, left footed, delivery towards the edge of the box, headed away by Dons. Uh, Shirt, sure, it's the 11 now, maybe uh, looking to start a break for the Dons. They've got Kitman on the overlap, they've got Shirts flooding over the halfway line. It's a decent ping in behind. Uh, John, early off his line though, equal to it, drops down to the 24, eventually controls it. Looks to swing one back out across the pitch. Sam Bailey's intercepted it. He plays it into Thomas, controls it on his chest. Eze over the halfway line. Sam joining as well. Can we make something of this attack? Sam has Eze in a bit of room, uh, looking to go for goal himself. Maybe he's made the wrong decision. And RJ's there. Ready to f***ing win. Yes. Here he is on the ball uh, once more. Looks to sling one down the line uh, for the 24 to chase. Totally looking to keep him company. Uh, gets across into the box, stopped by Harry. And uh, it's going to rebound back here to Tolu. Gets away from Nathan Palmer with ease. Uh, can he start a UTR attack down this left-hand side? Tries to get to Thomas, not able to bring it down under control. RJ goes back to G. Can we see what he's made of? I'm pressing. See if we can make him make a mistake. Calm as you like. Big G in the sticks. Over on the left for the Dons. Uh, maybe looking to see a pass in field, which they find from Kitman into the 47. Uh, too much space, too much time. No pressure from UTR shirts. They're able to work it into the box. Let shot fly. And that's what it did. Vance plays it to Eze, gets it back. Little one-two between those two. Uh, it makes a big difference in the middle, just calming the game down, comfortable on the ball. Likes to get it at any moment. Vance, that's the man there. Plays it to Bradley and once again, as I said, gets it back. Uh, looking to maybe do something more for UTR from this attack. Breads it through to Thomas. Round the corner to Eze. Eze, can he make something happen for us? Shoved in the back. Referee sees nothing wrong with it. Play continues. Don's looking to break. And oh, speaking of break, he's broken Vance's ankles. As Calvin advances over the halfway line, looks to get past Harry. After sending Vance to Sainsbury's, Morrison's and Tesco. But nothing comes of it from the Dons. The referee having absolutely none of it. Balls played it out wide to Sam Bailey. Can we do something from this attack? He's only really got Thomas in support. Takes it to the right. Uh, looks to take it on his right. And it comes back off Big G. Big G in the sticks. 
For 25 minutes gone, we've brought the big man up for the corner, looking to make something happen. Don's with the only main chance of this game so far as Mike takes the corner in swinging left footed and Thomas misses it, but Tolu doesn't. It ends up in the back of the net with our first real chance. Obviously, Sam just had that one which earned us the corner, but Tolu finding himself pretty much unmarked in the box. Don's won't be happy with that. It's a delightful delivery from Mike. We've seen him do it time and time again. Left foot, right foot. It's begging to be attacked. It has to be said that Essie Don's number 68 was defending like he's 68. But the boldest man on the pitch was the boldest man on the pitch. UTR's captain, fantastic. Tolu, 1-0, UTR. Thank you. Let's get a look at it ourselves. Mike's with the corner. Thomas misses it. Tolu doesn't. And it's ended up in the back of the net, as has Big G. Big G in the sticks. Hey, Flitz, what are you trying to do? You trying to break the skipper? No, I like this guy. Break the skipper, break the team. They haven't really done too much to hurt us. They had that chance that hit the crossbar, but apart from that, not too much. RJ, great first touch, second. Play continues as Mali goes uh, back to G here. Eri starts the press for us, looks to see what G's made of. He's able to play out from the back, gets away from Eri just about. Passes loose though, advances first to it, goes for the first time attempt. And uh, 10, 12 yards to the right, that might have been a goal for us and a spectacular one. Harry bringing it out of defence, looking for a pass down the line. Mistake made there, hits off the 47 30. Maybe has a chance to bear down on goal, make something special happen. It's the fleet from the middle out to the right. Uh, loose pass once more. Eri's first to it, uh, knocks it into Thomas in the middle. Uh, great strength up against the number 11. Nice little turn away from him as well. And he finds Eri once more. This guy's warming, he's ready. I can see it. You want to play the Don? You play the Don! Let's hope for Harry Lightning doesn't strike twice. This time the pass connects. Thomas's touch doesn't. Mike's pass looks to. And it goes through to Eze. It's pulled back here for an offside. Looked like it might have been a tight one. Uh, let's see it once more. Mike's with the pass there. I can't tell by the angle, but it looks like the referee and the assistant have gotten this one right. Dons will be hungry to get back into this game. They don't like losing to us. And still to this day, they never have as the 24 drags his shot way wide. Ben's trying to prove to us that he's a Sunday league version of John Stones. It's a beautiful pass. Tolu tries to get down. That touch was loose, but he gets on the end of it. He doesn't give up. He's the captain. He's hungry. And he shows the desire that he wants his team to show as he drives forward. Plays a pass through to Thomas. One and one with G. And it's a brilliant save. It's a fantastic opportunity. Well created by Tolu. Got his luck to get him forward, but used his power and pace after that. And also his decision making to find Thomas. Unfortunately, Thomas wasn't able to lift it above G's left leg. And it's a brilliant save from the Don's goalkeeper. Still 1-0. Nathan Palmer driving over the halfway line. Uh, so much space to run into. Too much space as he's now under pressure from Bradley. Uh, Tolu comes to join the party. Nathan Palmer, good feet. Uh, good pass. Or so it seemed. Don's have made plenty of signings today. And the ad board's not one of them. Don's looking to turn the screw and get at us. We've been here before, 1-0 up against them. They don't uh, lie down easily at all as Tolu capitalises on that loose touch. Thomas is first to the ball for UTR and he sees Eri to his left. Eri's been waiting for this moment, looking to take RJ around the roundabout. Takes him to the left and oh! RJ takes the second exit. Big up the young boys. Eri's a dangerous, tricky player. That fake shot there is one of the moves that got him signed, but RJ recovered brilliantly and he did just enough to prevent a second goal for UTR. It's a game of football, that's all it is! On that corner is going to be Max, provided the first one, the second with his right. It's not as sweet as the left. Don's looking for the Diag. It's not really worked for them so far. Tolu skips away from his man and looks to find Thomas up the pitch. Thomas looking to hold it up for us. Thomas spins in between the two and he sent them. RJ's gone for a hand roll, he's there again. Uh, Mike's looks to take over. Challenge from the 47 and it's gonna be deemed to be a, a foul by the referee. Uh, I think it's a bit of a tricky one there. I think it looked like he got the ball, but in the end he ends up in the book. Mike standing over this free kick, left footed. Skims off Tolu's head, hits off Thomas. And I think they'll let this one run out. Mali for Dons into Nathan Palmer. Vance early and quickly on Nathan Palmer, which allows Thomas to get the ball and get into the box on his left foot and he's dragged it wide. Did well to work the opportunity and the finish wasn't there. Still looking to play out from the back despite being 1-0 down. That's one thing you have to definitely say about the Dons. They keep to an ethos and they work with it. 
They've gotten themselves a corner. Not long till half time. Can we hold out till the break? It's the header there from the first man. John comes to claim. Doesn't claim back hill there. And Harry Sargent is just about in the way. That's a fantastic attempt, to be honest, to get that ball goalwards. But wow, we've escaped there from that corner. It's a right footer. Brad wins the first ball. He's going to come back out to that same man. Uh, can he get a second delivery? He does the back post. Jump in there with Ben is the 30. Drops down to the 24. Eze looking to get the ball away for us. And he does. It's a throw to Dons. They're trying to go long with that throw. Looking to replicate Tolu and Brad. It's a header there from a Dons uh, man. John punches that one. It comes out here to Vance. Can we get on a break? Vance tries to show too much technique there with the left. And we've lost possession. Nathan Palmer picks it up for the Dons. Looking to find a way through a wall of red shirts. He's switched it out. And Thomas has cut it out. Maybe a chance to break here. The UTR can Mike get us up the pitch. He does just that. Harry, uh, very young, comfy on the ball. I'm pretty sure Harry's like 20, still so young. I don't know how he's built like a unit at such an age. Mike's with a great first touch and a flick round his arch enemy, Nathan Palmer. They've got history. Uh, unfortunately, nothing really comes of it. RJ Clares. The ball's in the air, catching some snow. Thomas is being held off by Mali. Uh, gets around him, he sees RJ's on the ball. Goes to press him, dispossess him. Can he do one more and score? He's on the right foot now. Cuts it inside, back to Mike. Left footed, and G makes a save down to his left. I think it was just about going wide though. Mali with it, clips one. Uh, forward for the Dons. It's a challenge there from Ben, a clumsy one. This man on the ball, from what I've heard, ex-pro, right footer. Looks to swing one into the box, only as far as Ben's head. And that's gonna conclude the first half. 1-0 to UTR, it's been a decent performance so far. Could have made it two or three at stages. And uh, we need to make sure that we can see this result out. Time for our team talk, spur the boys back on. I'm not sure what the Don's team talk is going to be like, but if I could imagine it, it'd be something like this. 45 minutes, we need two goals. Let's go. 3, two, three two, 1, done! <laughs> They're dropping so f***ing deep to receive that ball. So we're, we're in a place where, do I follow, do I not? Can stay tight now. Be smarter in the final third as well, because there are a lot of cutbacks. Even Thomas, your, your one where you shot, yeah. Mike's was open, yeah. free tapping. Mike's as well. Oh, Thomas, second one, Bailey was open. Yeah. Okay, be smarter in in the 18 yard box now. Okay, because this game, I promise you, one there's a hundred more goals for us. Absolutely. I promise you that. <laughs> and two, they are. Can we set like a trigger press on that little right back car? He doesn't want it in every at yeah. any yeah. point. But like, do you know what the thing is as well? When you show him inside, that's all he's doing. He's playing a short pass, and then we're moving that's up. Like and we if we trigger well. it, and like as soon as he gets it, and like get on him. I feel like us letting him make this. He's, yeah. he's making yeah. a mistake because yeah. he's yeah. making yeah. a mistake. Yeah. Once, 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 once we step off, off him, once, once every shuts off the yeah. line, yeah. he goes inside and does like a silly pass. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Because every show him inside and then remark tight and then be ready. And that's what I'm talking about the midfield unit. I, George, George, and that's what I'm talking about the midfield unit, okay? Because whatever he is doing is trapping him, regardless, yeah? So if one of them, if one of our midfields right there is lazy, he's got a simple pass to, to Palmer, or simple pass to, to 47. Watching that first half, I can see one thing, is I can trust my defence to win us that game. Absolutely. Like, the defence has been superb, but what can the attack do to kill off that game? If we make it to 2-3, they will be dead. Mm. Done. We have to go out and kill. We have to know when to speed it up, when to slow it down. I've seen Vance and Eze trying to do that, but we're, sometimes we're not picking the right moments to do it. And sometimes we're rushing it and going long and just giving them the ball back and they're coming back at us. So we have to try and slow it down in the right moments, but I think the finishing has to be on point second half. Yeah, yeah. That's the second half the game, 100%. Your chances. Back four has been wait. sick though, honestly. Back four, amazing. Don't do that thing that we always do where we let the back four deal with everything, everything for 80 minutes and then we switch off because we haven't taken our chances. They can only do it for so long, so let's get the goals and win the game, simple. Let's go boys, let's go, let's go, let's go! I may have mentioned that the Dons have some faces we're not familiar with. One that we are familiar with is Ellis. He went to my school. Very, very tricky winger. Used to be on the books of Charlton and more. And uh, yeah, very, very big problem. Instantly, they're looking to go long. It's a decent ball. Harry seems to have misjudged it. He's missed it. Comes down here to the 30. It's bouncing. Goes for a goal. Not sure why. Over on the far side, loose touch from the Dons right back there as Eri looks to take it off him. Eri cuts inside, fakes on the outside, back inside, goes for goal. And he's put RJ in a blender.
FTR corner from the left. Sam goes short. Mike's goes looking for the edge of the box. It's not the greatest delivery there and maybe Dons might look to counter from it. It's a round here to Nathan Palmer. Tries to find a pass there to the striker. Bradley cuts it out, does well. Ben's there too. Kitman on the near side. Swings a beautiful pass in field. Nathan Palmer tries to go first time. Comes back to him, lets it fly. Way wide. Harry's got the ball deep in our half. Uh, swings one up the pitch. RJ jumping there with Thomas trying to put him off. Good strength from Thomas as well to retrieve possession. Also hold it up for us. Comes to Eze. We've got decent possession. Mike's on the ball. Has Eri out wide. eri has been on good form. It'd be good to use him again. Mike decides not to. Escapes away from the 47. Tries to slip Eri through the pass. Might have gone a bit too far. RJ's there. They've got it in the middle. Eze pressing on the 11. Uh, looking to find a way through. Plays a ball through there. Tolu's equal to that. Gets there first. Drops down here to Thomas, controls it nicely, and looks to play it out wide. It's a long day because Eri's a... <laughs> and it's a long day because he's been cooking them all game long so far. Again, down that left-hand side. This time it's a nutmeg there. Uh, gets away, the man gets back. He's got Mike's in support. Goes back to Mike's, tries to thread a pass through. Maybe one that's no one's seen, apart from Big G. 47 with it. Fakes to go outside, goes inside, plays it to Ellis, gets it back. Looks to get a bit of jam, gets his way through. UTR shirts, afraid of making a challenge in that area. And rightfully so, we get the ball up the pitch anyway. 50 minutes have gone, Kitman plays it to Nathan Palmer, continues his run on the overlap, he's held LB like you would in FIFA. Nathan Palmer knocks it into the 47, only gets it back off his shin, but it works for them. Comes out wide to this man with no number on the back, plays it back to Nathan Palmer. Harry Sargent's in the way, comes back again. You two are pretty dead. Battle here between Mikes and Ellis. Ellis driving, gets away from Tolly for a moment, tries to get past Harry. Good strong. Nathan trying to take control of this game for the Dons and make things happen. Comes into the 30, nice little turn, gets away from Tolu. Looks to wind up a shot with his right foot, blocked by Ben. Comes back to the 30 again. Uh, can he still do anything here? It's a ball from the 24, cleared away by Mikes. Comes back out to the 47. You two are pretty dead. Dons go on the far right. It's RJ bursting down, trying to show a bit of pace there as well, up against Tolu. Uh, able to shield it for a moment. Tolu's still trying to usher him out of play. Believes it's gone out of play. Play continues. Ellis is alive to it. A live wire in there. And John claims it. First substitution of the game for us. Sam makes his way off the field. Going to get Lamre ready and onto the pitch. Try and cause them more problems going back this way as they're trying to get back into the game. Don's making some substitutions too. Bringing on Jay Boogie. He's a handful. And Jackson Mutis is a tidy player. Don's clear their lines uh, up the field. Uh, Nathan Palmer in too much space. Not for the first time this game. Jay Boogie slides it through to Ellis. Ellis cuts back once, twice, thrice. Uh, can he find something for the Don's to the edge of the box for Samutis? Fakes to shoot, goes to shoot. It's better he faked. Second change for us. He's been great for us, but he's beginning to look a little bit leggy. Also, a Dem has a vendetta against the Don's. Here's why. So he'll be looking to change the story and make things right as RJ plays the ball into the channel. Harry gets his head to it first. The linesman flags. UTR free kick. Kind of Dem get into this game for us as he tries to bring this one down. But Samutis takes it off his toes and flips it around the corner to Ellis. Ellis aims for the box, looks for the back post. It's Nathan Palmer. Oh, get off! Get off! Get off! Get off. Get off. 25 minutes to get a goal. Just inside their half, tips it into ours. Samut is trying to find a quarterback like pass into the 47, takes it on his chest. It's like an ironing board though. And Bradley's alive to it. Long throw opportunity for the Dons. Brilliant opportunity for them as well. Some nice throw. Uh, Harry gets his head to it first. It bounces in the box, it's still a bit loose. Tolu clears it up the pitch. And uh, it looks like it's still going to be loose as uh, Eri is first to the ball there, using his speed to get there first. Gets away from two Dons shirts with a bit of jam. He's got Thomas to his right. Eri up against RJ. We've seen this before. We've also seen that before, it's gone wide. That's going to be one of his last actions in the game. Femi goes over to take his place on the left. Could be a long day for Dons down that side. Dons free kick midway through the UTR half. Curled in towards the box and straight into John's hands. Less than 20 minutes left in this game. Uh, Dons with a throw. Nathan Palmer claiming he's been fouled. It's off. But it looked like he tried to step on Harry's boot to me and get away with it. He's gone to ground in the end. And speaking of gone to ground, the ball's gone to ground. It's bounced a few times, they've allowed it to. It's here with Thomas. G's brought the ball out. G catches a bit of life there as he's able to just get away from Thomas. And uh, it's gonna fall down here to Femi. They've given it away very cheaply. Comes here to Mike's. Can he make something happen? Looks to spray one into the distance for Lamray to chase. We've not seen him really get on the ball so far, but here he is. Uh, a little step over up against Kitman. Plays it into the box, comes here only as far as Thomas. And it's wide of the target. He's done everything right this game, apart from score. 
fourth UTR change is going to be Thomas making his way off the field. Uh, Benny takes his place, scored a very important winning goal against Grand in the semi-final. That wonderful game and uh, it'll be looking to have an impact yet again. At the back with the Dons under pressure from UTR. Lamre starting the press. Benny going with him. Goes to G and oh, swiped it behind. These kind of guys can't look at us and tell us what we do. Corner taken from the right by Mike's. Benny tries to get his head to it. It's going to go to the edge of the box. Swiped again by Don Shirt. Comes here to Lamre. Tries to be clever with one possession. Can they break now? The big man, the 47, trying to steam inside. Lamre's done well. Uh, it's going to break here for Jay Boogie, though. He's got Nathan Palmer to his left. Uh, goes to his left. Nathan Palmer, can he make something happen? Don's uh, really going out of sight right now. It's a ball into the box and it comes to nothing. Someone's going to need to take the initiative for the men in green as Don's have Ellis on the ball. Knocks it around the corner to Nathan Palmer. Gets it back into the no number. Uh, plays it here to Jay Boogie. He cuts it back. Nathan Palmer across the box and flashed across the face of goal. Not far from making it 1 1. It's uh, Mike's. He's gone down with cramps. We're going to bring on Marcel in his place. Uh, hopefully we can try and see out this result. Marcel's very good for that. Over now with the 68. It's uh, Bradley up against Jay Boogie. Uh, he's held him back there. The referee sees nothing wrong with it. Play continues. I'm hurt! I'm f***ing hurt! Dem escapes away from the 47. He's looking a bit laboured there. Away from the 68 with some jam there as well. It's Femi on the ball. Uh, Femi has a couple of done shirts to beat. Gets away from some mooters for a moment. We're looking for a pass here. And Benny is going to be offside. We're a bit unsure. I think they had a bit of miscommunication. And the line has made his decision. Damre into a dem. You can see the game's really starting to open up now. As we get into the latter stages of the game, legs are getting very tired with every counting minute, every counting second. As Lamre up against RJ, surely he's had enough of our wingers today. Lamre clips on across the face of goal, some great ball, but no one's there to get on the end of it. Just over 10 minutes to be played. UTR nearing victory or what looks like it, but we've been here before and they've scored late, so we don't want to be in that same position. Bruce. 47 gets it, takes it in field. Marcel trying to stand in his way, goes in there to the box. They're calling for a foul, comes back to Ellis, straight into John's hands. Jack Samutis has his head up, looks to thread a pass through. Pass successful, lovely flick around the corner from Nathan Palmer. Beautiful turn from Jay Boogie, looks to shoot and he's dragged it just about wide of the post. That would have been a beautiful goal. Lovely build up play from the Duns there. Unfortunately, no goal at the end of it for them. A dem with it, uh, wriggling his way away, and uh, Nathan Palmer's gone flying in there. That's not going for the ball. It's not flying. The game is really opening up as they're looking to hit us on the counter. Samutis into Jay Boogie gets the one two, and they're advancing. It's Ellis out on the right here, trying to get past Tolu. He's seen that at school. It's getting late in the game. Don's looking to find any way through to goal. It's not going to be that way. He smoked that UTR. Comes to Femi. Over on that far side, uh, Don's getting shirts back. He's got Benny ahead of him. Uh, Dem's making his way to the box as well. They're calling for an offside. Benny doesn't seem to be offside. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and Benny opens up his body and finishes it like a prime Thierry Henry. It's 2-0 with just over five minutes plus whatever additional time to play. And surely that is it for the Dons, unless for a miracle at the moment. But like I said, they never give up. And uh, like they always say, you can't break the Don spirit. Mm. 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 It's as simple as that. Well, will it be broken today as we've made it 2 0? Over to Drew. Femi carries the ball on the left hand side. He's offered way too much time and space to pick out a lovely through ball to Benny. Number five is begging, pleading with the Lionel to call his flag, but he hasn't. And Benny opens up his body like a young Thierry Henry and finesses it past the oncoming Big G, who's done his best to make himself big in the goal, but he hasn't been held up by his defenders. And surely, surely this is game set and match. 2 0 is always a dangerous scoreline, but I just don't see a way back for the Dons in this one. Back to you. This ain't not friendly. This is bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs>
2-0 then, not long left in the game. Dons look like they are all but done as Adem looks to carry the ball up the field for UTR, surrounded by Don's shirts, trying to get away from Samutis. That's fantastic tracking. The Dons are running out of time as Palmer plays it back to Samutis. Uh, 68 on it now, still looking to find a route through to go. It's a ball across the box, not a bad ball at all, only as far as Tolu. And he's played a pass through to Femi. It's just Femi, Benny and the goalkeeper. If Femi can get the pass right, Dons flooding shirts back. Will it be enough to stop Benny? It absolutely is. As Samutis wins the ball, does enough to hold off the challenge from Benny. But it looks like he might just run into a sh uh, wall of UTR shirts as Femi and Adem take the ball off him collectively. Into the 89th minute and it's Femi onto Adem. Hold up, wait. Wait, wait. What was that? No, don't say it. Don't do what? Don't say it. Yeah. What? The thing. Oh. In the wise words of my friend, Don Strapsy. First of his name in South East London. Something else needs commentary. Some things don't need commentary. <laughs> So there it is, 3-0, and it's been a long time coming. Like I said, we've played the Dons many times before, and we've come out narrow losers. Today will be absolute victors, and there's no question about who the better team has been today. Dons looking for a final. Hail Mary into the box to try and get a consolation. It's headed away by Bradley, and the referee blows his whistle. There it is, 3-0 to UTR against the Dons. I'll let the scenes unfold themselves. You get it, you got a fresh trim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One of the few times I have nothing, nothing inspirational to say. We're never gonna let these little never at the arbor, never at the arbor, come and take it off us at the arbor. No chance. Every fucking time we lose, the team laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs>